Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers review. For this one I'm doing a figure that I don't normally do, or rather a size version that I don't normally do. This is a Legends Class. Um, this is Legends Class Air Ace Vehicon and Air Vehicon. Um, why am I doing the Legends Class? Because I don't actually own the Air Vehicon or the Vehicon General I think he's come out as. Um, which I sort of did want, I could have got and they didn't, and they're now they're a bit too expensive. So at the time, I they're only like two or three pounds in like Tesco's or wherever, um, and so I just kept buying them because obviously on the show there was just like loads of the same version, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've been watching the show off and on. Uh, some sometimes it's alright, sometimes a bit rubbish, but there we go. Nothing will ever beat Beast Wars for me. And obviously, um, it's quite a homage to that because obviously the series that came after Beast Wars was Beast Machines, and this is kind of a homage to uh, the Vehicon Generals, which is pretty cool. Um, right, so anyway, we're going to start here with Ace Vehicon. I managed to get this in the Entertainer for like four quid. I was pretty surprised when I saw this in there. Um, it is basically like supposed to be like a car with wings, really. Um, yeah, it's all right. I wish they'd have come out with a Legends class of just ordinary Vehicon. I do have that one in the deluxe size, but um, yeah, I wanted the Air Vehicon. That would have been pretty cool. Or a Legends, like I say, car mode. I don't know whether they actually brought one, but they never brought it out over here, not that I saw. But for what it is, it's pretty cool. It does come with a little gun. He comes with an orange gun. Uh, they're quite generic guns between all the Legends class, which keep swapping them around between figures. So it's, no, it's just a throwaway gun, really. I'm not that bothered about it. Pretty cool. I do like the um, the Vehicons themselves. Uh, like I said, I, I did buy loads of these, so you know you can have just loads of them. Uh, I thought I had more than four, really, I, I, but there we go. I just bought them at the time. Never mind. Uh, right, so we're going to transform these guys. Uh, they do have like a nice, easy transformation. Just flip these little feet out. Uh, come round here to the back. There's a little section which you need to tab up. Bring that up. Now it's up to you what you do with these wings. You can sort of leave them like that. You can fold them all the way around. Um, it's up to you really and then just untab the arms from the side of the car bring them up and there we have his arms um, and then obviously split the legs like that now the only problem with this figure it just really could have done with just one or two more points of articulation for me uh, maybe one just in the knee joint um, maybe one a slightly more uh, flexible ankle joint as well just because it doesn't really stand too well. Um, and then one maybe the elbows, that would have been cool. And maybe just something to get rid of this kibble up here because it really does hinder where you can put the arm, which is a shame. Um, like I said, you can have the wings out. I prefer having like the wings at an angle because I think that just looks better. And you can pop him down, he's all right. You can hold that gun if you want him to. Um, yeah, this is about the only mode where I use the guns, if I can get in his bloody hand. There we go, and they don't look too bad like that, so you can shoot some, you know, but you really do, you don't need it really. There you go, just throw it to the side. And there's Vehicle in general. I do like it does have a black sort of head. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on that too well. Um, that ain't too bad. So then you just pop him there. And then we're just going to transform one of these Vehicons. Uh, so you come around here, fold out the little feet. Oh, get his blooming arms out. There we go. I see I split those legs like that. Move that arm up. Bring it out slightly. And there's his one of his little vehicles that he can boss around. To his heart's content. Um, and they're pretty cool. And I like it how they did do sort of like different size of legends, because then you can bring in Shockwave here. Found him in Tesco, so I was well surprised to find him. That was pretty cool. And I did buy a Legends, I'm not totally sure why at the time. Um I can't remember her name now. Um, not black or arach arachnid. Um, obviously, that is some sort of take on black arachnia, isn't it? Because obviously, that was a popular character from Beast Wars. I actually prefer this Legends class in the deluxe size, really. From what I've seen of that, that is a big pile of something. This, this ain't too bad for a Legends class. I like it. it's like a stealth helicopter. I'd love a bigger version, a decent version where it turns into the spider along with the helicopter. That would have been cool. And I did buy Legends Class Soundwave as this little drone, uh, what was it? Yeah, drone airplane. I can't remember what they're called now. Not Predator drone, is it? I can't remember. But that's, I like this one. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they're all right. I mean, I like Shockwave here. I do have the bigger version of Shockwave as well. Um, but that's, I like that one. That's pretty cool. 
Right, anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this review up there. This has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,